whenever we harvest rainwater, we're actually reducing the amount of stormwater runoff. Whereas if we didn't do that, that water can rush off of the property, it can cause erosion issues, flooding issues, and then we also know that stormwater runoff can be very polluted. Um, so if we can reduce that amount, we're actually helping to protect downstream water quality. Well, we are out here installing a 500 gallon rainwater harvesting cistern in which we're gonna capture the water uh, off of the sheep barn and then store it and use it uh, to keep our sheep barn clean. Uh, this area gets a lot of sheep and human foot traffic. The basic premise of rainwater harvesting is that we are capturing the water off of our roof, we're storing it, and then we're gonna use it at a later time. So we gotta get that water into the tank. Um, we call that our, our conveyance, or our, our way to move water. Um, so we're gonna do that with gutters, and then we're gonna use downspouts, and then we're gonna use a lot of PVC. So the PVC uh, is basically gonna root that water into the tank and we know that the tank's going to fill up. So whenever it fills up, we have to have a way for that water to exit the tank. So we use even more PVC to move that water again away from the tank. We never want that water to pool up around the building. We want to make sure it gets at least 10 to 15 feet away from the building. Um, in this particular case, we're actually tying back into some very corrugated pipe that's moving the water out into one of the adjacent fields. But definitely a lot of cutting of PVC, a lot of gluing. We use the PVC primer and cement to make sure we're, you know, have a really strong fit. And it should be noted that any PVC that's exposed to sunlight should be painted. So for this particular project, we wanted to make it look as good as possible because we knew it was going to have a lot of visibility. So we painted it um, to match the building, the PVC. So it's serving two purposes. One, it's aesthetically pleasing, it looks good. But two, it's also protecting the PVC from sunlight. This is the floating inlet filter and the way that it works is that this ball will be floating at the top of the water column. Um, and it's been shown that the cleanest water in a tank is within like four or five inches of the top of the water column. So this will always be floating at the top of the water column and this is where the water will be sucked in. So we're always getting the cleanest water that we can out of the tank. So something that, that we hear a lot in the rainwater collection uh, industry is, is what about mosquitoes getting into tanks? Um, and this is a perfect example. This is actually considered mosquito screening, whereas mosquitoes can't get through the screen in order to get into the water to lay their eggs. So this will definitely keep mosquitoes out and you will not get any uh, in your tank as long as you have it fast, uh, fastened properly to the top. A lot of water is coming off of these roof surfaces that people don't necessarily think of. Um, so if it rains here, one inch, we're going to get 476 gallons of water into this cistern. And our cistern's 500 gallons. So we sized it about as perfectly as we could. We do know they're using it for a pressure washer, which is going to you know, have a considerable demand in terms of gallons of water required. So we have a sort of a backup plan. And that is, if they use 500 gallons of water, um, this tank is designed to kick in or tap into the city water. So if the water level gets to a certain, um, it gets drawn down low enough in the cistern, we're gonna put our, our municipal water, our city water, into the tank. So the folks at the farm here will never know if the system is empty, which is what we want. You know, we don't want people to think, oh, I can't use the cistern because it hasn't rained in two weeks. We want them just to always use the cistern. The biggest, the most important thing for people to remember is to use the water. So if the water doesn't get used, uh, it's going to get stagnant, water quality is going to go down, system components like valves and spigots and things, um, this system here has a pump, those sorts of things are going to stop working the way that they're intended. So the more regularly we can use the system, the better off we're going to be and the longer lasting the system is going to be. So, you know, it's kind of a different way of thinking about things. We think, oh, we want our cistern to be full of water. That's not the case. We really want it to be empty. And um, 
Whenever it's empty, whenever it rains, we have a place for that water to go. Whereas if it sat full all the time and it rained, that water is just going to bypass the cistern and we're never even going to get to use it. Thank you.